My name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a neurosurgeon and I've been practicing neurosurgery for nearly 25 years now. I've had this long-standing love affair with the brain. One of the things that um, I've, I've recently really come to appreciate about the brain is the fact that at any age we can build new brain cells. It, that's a remarkable statement. We used to think you could only build new brain cells when you were a baby and your brain was still developing or maybe after you've had an injury such as a stroke or a traumatic brain injury. But this idea that at any age you could continue to build new brain cells uh, means a lot. It means that this organ, probably more than any other organ in the body, can reliably grow sharper and stronger and better and more efficient even as you age. That, that, that's an extraordinarily inspiring thing. One of the things that I think is, is really worth noting is that for most of us, 80 to 90% of the time, we're using 10 to 20% of our brain. The rest of the brain is in use. It's sort of in the background. It's these little trails and paths and roads, but it's really a few areas that we use the vast majority of the time. It's kind of like the practice makes perfect adage applied to our brain, and that's a very good thing. The problem is what about all those other parts of your brain, that cognitive reserve as we call it. What we find is that by simply doing new things, even simple new things, you can start to recruit other parts of your brain and start using them more and more. The advantage of doing that is that, first of all, at the time you're doing it and using these other parts of your brain, it's a pretty happy experience. You're using more parts of your brain, you may see the world a little differently, you may connect patterns that you otherwise may have missed, you can just take your, go for a stroll on a new road that you just created in your brain. It's a pretty happy thing. But I think perhaps more importantly, those roads that you're so used to taking, that 10 to 20% of the brain that you're so used to using, if there is a problem one day on one of those roads and it becomes blocked, like with an amyloid plaque, for example, from Alzheimer's disease, if that's the only road you have, that's when you start to feel the cognitive decline that's when you start to have difficulties with memory. If you've built all these other roads, which you can do again at any age, then even if you have those blockages on your main roads, you still got all these other roads to get to your destination and you may never feel the loss of memory or the loss of cognition. So you really can build a better brain at any age. I wrote an entire book about it called Keep Sharp. It's helped me a lot and I hope it helps you as well.